Well, welcome back. Milwaukee is on track for another record breaking year when it comes to violence. The Milwaukee Police Department reporting 118 homicides and 434 non fatal shootings so far in 2022. So, how do we turn these trends around? CBS 58's Gabriela Becerra sat down with the director of the City of Milwaukee's Office of Violence Prevention in the special report. Violence is a disease. Disease can be transmitted. Um, it can also be treated and it can be prevented. That's how Arnita Holloman perceives her job. We take a public health approach to addressing violence prevention. The Office of Violence Prevention, or OVP, was created in 2008, primarily with a focus on reducing domestic violence and sexual assault in Milwaukee. The office has since expanded to include other issues plaguing the city, like gun violence. It's key for the community to understand that OVP is not a direct service agency. We contract and fund programs that provide some direct service in the community, and then we work with our system partners to fill gaps um, and provide resources to community members. The main arm of OVP is 414 Life, an organization housed under the Medical College of Wisconsin. The team deploys outreach workers, violence interrupters, and hospital responders to neighborhoods where the most shootings happen. Neighborhoods like Old North Milwaukee and Walker's Point. The outreach team is out there. They're going door to door. They're talking to the neighbors. They're building relationships with those neighbors. They're building relationships with business owners in the area. While Holloman points to a decrease in gun violence in those neighborhoods to prove this method it works, she admits they can't be in every neighborhood. Violence prevention historically has not been invested in and supported to the degree that it needs to be to see the kind of um, immediate or long term and sustainable change that people are looking for. You cannot expect um, the work of 1,700 plus sworn officers from an office of seven people. Holloman says OVP's annual budget funded by the city and competitive federal grants is about $5 million. That money staffs the office and funds community programs like Running Rebels, a group focused on mentoring Milwaukee's young men. It changed the landscape of what we could do, not only summer, but year round with our, with our young men. OVP requested $16.8 million in American Rescue Plan Act funding. So far, they've received more than $11 million of that request, 8.4 from the state and three million from the city. Holloman says that funding will be spent through 2026. In the next five years, OVP plans to hire six or seven more employees, grant community programs, and expand 414 Life's footprint. The return on investment in prevention is clear and common sense, and a smart public policy and a smart public safety to invest in prevention. Holloman's predecessor, Reggie Moore, continues to advocate both locally and nationally for better funding. Are we committed to doing everything possible to prevent harm on the front end, or are we going to bankrupt cities and states by investing on the back end and all of the costs? Whether or not OVP gets the support it needs, Holloman tells me the office of about seven people remains committed to finding a cure for this violent disease. We want to see a safer, healthier city, and we want to see a healing-centered city. Reporting in Milwaukee, Gabriela Becerra, CBS 58 News.